All right, uh, we're live. I was actually live earlier today, and we figured out what was wrong with our drivetrain in our Camaro. Um, let me get set up here just real quick. Uh, hang tight, people, please. Hang tight. Okay, so I got online and I was doing a live video and I was telling people to look and see what was wrong with the situation. We got Mustang 915, we got Shade and Miranda, Julio. So I was live and... Um, we found out what was wrong with the clutch in the car and what was wrong. The flywheel, um, I put it on backwards. I had the flywheel on backwards and what was happening is when I put all the clutch and everything into the vehicle, I'm gonna get that. The bolts were not recessed, they were sticking out. And when I put that on there, uh, the bolts jammed up onto the clutch plate, which would make it lock in place. Um, the only reason I'm coming back live is because we lost that video. Uh, I actually had a guy call me a doofus, which I don't blame him. And whoever that was, uh, thank you. So that's what the problem was. My friend Pete fucked up. And I take the blame. It's my fault. Um, I work very, very late hours. Uh, I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning working already. This morning. Working on this. So I work seven days a fucking week. And when I put this motor and this transmission together, I can clearly see the night that I did that. Um, my knees were killing me. Uh, this knee here in particular. I did not have any knee surgery yet. Um, I could barely walk. I had... Another vehicle, I had two other vehicles in my shop that I was working on at that time, being a one-man operation that I am. And I was getting a lot of heartaches from one of the jobs that I was doing. It was a 56 Volkswagen or 52 Volkswagen Bug. And... It was in the condition of this car here. When I say condition, I'm talking about I want to get it out of my shop. Um, that's another factor to this whole nightmare is that this car's been in my possession for seven or eight years. And I'm not making any money on it. Uh, I definitely ain't making any money now. Now that I had to pull this whole drivetrain out just to find out what the fuck was wrong. And then it comes down to it that it's my fault, nobody else's. And I will say one thing, this is not my fault, this bell housing. This bell housing, I do not like it. Um, you can see how thick it is for one. You see all the multiple holes on it. It's a universal bell housing. It's not, it's not a proprietary bell housing. It's not uh, specifically made for this car right here. And so when you use these universal bell housings, they're pretty much very hard to deal with due to the fact that the bolts are hard to get to. You can see how tall, look how tall the lip is on that tall lip there. And it's just real clusterfuck to mess with. Um, so this is the real story and I want everybody to listen real close. Um, this was actually a God sending, people. I had to pull the motor out because the clutch was locked in. I put the flywheel in backwards. It was in backwards. 
But let me go ahead and explain this to you, and I'm going to try to do the best I can. Um, when this happened, I started researching the situation of these transmissions, this uh, Magnum 6-speed transmission and the LS engine that we got here, the LS style engine. And this is what the deal is, and my battery's low, so I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. Um, this pilot shaft right here on this particular transmission, it all depends on what fly uh, bell housing you're using. Depending on how far this sticks out, you've got two options of pilot bearings. Um, you got one that's deep inside, which is a factory style, and then you got another one that is, uh, it's a bigger bearing and it sits out. So when you measure this, if it comes out to a quarter inch or less, then you need to have the big bearing. I didn't know that when I put this transmission in. I didn't realize that. So when I put the transmission into the vehicle, that pilot shaft was not resting inside the crankshaft of the engine. It was basically nothing was holding it. The only thing that was holding it was the clutch plate that was jammed up on the flywheel because I put it in backwards and it was keeping this pilot shaft from ruining itself and totaling out the transmission, you might say. So when I say it was a godsending that this actually happened, we actually saved the transmission by me actually putting the clutch plate in backwards. And I'm not trying to justify why I did that. Um, the main reason that I did that is because my mind was not on the job, okay? My mind was on 10 other things and my knees were killing me and it was late at night and I didn't have the situation. I shouldn't have been doing that. I should have been thinking better. So what that's gonna do now is that's gonna make me remeasure and recalculate our throw out bearing situation because this actually takes, if you look behind it, there's shims back there and you gotta shim this thing out to make it work properly and all this. And when I measured all that, I had the pressure plate and the clutch plate on there. And once again, it was jammed up on the flywheel and I didn't even fucking know it. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we didn't ruin anything, that's the good thing. But that's the real deal. Um, and I'm gonna show you, and this is for anybody that's doing this type of transmission. If you look right here, you can see the pilot bearing. This would be your stock pilot bearing. And then there's also this area right here in the crankshaft. And that's where the outer bearing would go if you have a quarter inch or less. If you have over a quarter inch, then if you have like, I think it's up to, if it's five eighths of an inch, then you use this one. So I have to order the correct pilot bearing. I'll get this one, I'll take this one out and I'll put the other one in. And there's actually four different pilot bearings. So I'm gonna have to call, um, I'll have to call that company that actually wrote the article and, and then I will order the correct pilot bearing for it. Um, I contacted the owner and I already told him that there won't be any charge on this clusterfuck mess. Uh, this is on me. It was my fault, and I'm the one that should be paying for it, not him. It's not his problem. Um, now, I am not going to pay for a bell housing. If he wants to replace the bell housing, which I strongly suggest. Another thing about this bell housing, I don't know if you noticed, it's got two starter holes on it. That means it's universal, and this is actually a race transmission uh Bell housing. Now, I'm going to call American Powertrain tomorrow and I'm going to ask them what my other options are for a 67 Camaro. But everything that they sell is universal. It's not a proprietary thing. So, I don't think the owner should put this in his car just in case he ever has to take this out. Um, he will have to pull the motor and transmission. You cannot reach these bolts up here. And I am not going to cut his firewall up. I'm not going to drill holes and all this other shit. 
All right, it ain't gonna happen here. I want this fucking car out of my hair. I want it out of my shop. Um, so once again, it was my fuck up. I fucked up. Um, I did have a live video. We lost that video. And <laughs> I mean, the people that were watching it, you know, this is a quick time. Somebody said quick time, uh, bell house. This is a quick time bell housing. So, but, uh, that's what happened. And it was my fault. I fucked up and there's nothing we can do about it, but put the blame on somebody. And the only blame that we have is me. Like I said, this is a good lesson that it really was a fuck up, but in the end, um, was it really a fuck up or was it a God sending because of the pilot shaft? If this would have all went in right, that pilot shaft would have eventually broke and fucked up and um, I would have ruined the guy's transmission and then I would have had to buy a $5,000 transmission. So it was actually a godsending that I put it in backwards so I can do research on the uh, pilot bearing action. But other than that, uh, I mean, I don't know what to say. The only thing I can do is just put it all back together and put it in the car. It's going to be about a day's worth of work. Um, a Hill, he was watching it. He saw the action. Um, we got hash, uh, sling and hasher. You're a G for posting this online. Good would sweep it. Uh, got, uh, most would sweep it under the rug. And that's the real situation. Most people aren't honest, guys. I was furious when we found this. Um, when I started the car up and uh, it was stuck in gear, I was furious. I was, I was, I called the owner up. I, I was hollering, screaming at him. I told him, I'm going to pack all your shit in your car. I'm going to, I'm going to send it to you. And all that because I was not concentrating on the job and I wasn't fucking doing what I should have done. And that was, uh, pay attention. So this is a good example for everybody that the God sending was there. And I think that, and that's what I got to believe is that God actually made me do that. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think that's how it happened. And the reason that happened is because of that. If that wouldn't have happened, then I would have ruined this transmission and would have had to buy the guy a transmission. So um, anyway, I just wanted to get on here and tell everybody what the deal was and what happened. And, uh, you know, it's just a fucking joke, dude. It's a real joke. Uh, and there's nothing we can do. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Just making a short little video of telling you what's going on here. And uh, letting you know whoever called me a doofus. You're exactly fucking right. But on the other hand, I think that it was a relief to find that it actually happened because um, I would rather turn a flywheel around from a fuck up I did than have to buy this guy a $5,000 fucking transmission because I didn't use the right uh, pilot bearing. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. I've been out in my shop for 12 hours. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it down and wait for the owner to get with me on this bell housing and see what happens from there. So we'll see you later. Take it easy. It's a fucked up deal, guys. It's a fucked up situation. But at least we got it handled now. See you later. God bless everybody. God is real, people. God is real. This is basically proof of that. If you were catching the story there, see you later.